Welcome, Yak Watchers! If all this looks a little bit familiar, you may recognize it from my previous attempt at this game, which, if you remember correctly, was played in green screen mode. However, today we have the luxury of color, and how different it is from what I expected. You see, when you've only played a game on a mono monitor, it's hard to imagine it being in anything other than shades of green. So this seems a bit weird to my eyes. And now I know what buying a color TV for the first time must have felt like. As we shall see in just a second, this game likes to make use of the Amstrad's extensive color palette. I guess the greens and greys of herd driving were a little bit too bland for Jeff Crammond, who, evidently, was a fan of iron brew. Orange and blue. An interesting choice of colour there. Well, at least the sky is blue and the ground orange, and not the other way around. You do get to see a few more colour combinations as you advance through the game. It's set up in a head-to-head -head league system with promotion and relegation. And once you gain access to the higher leagues, you also get more difficult tracks. And by golly, are they difficult? I can't even do this one. Last time I attempted this, I failed spectacularly. In fact, I spent more time off the track than on it. Oh, get out of my way, you floating piece of cheese! Unfortunately, you can't ram the computer control drivers off the track. Even though they can you! Oh well, we'll have to beat him with pure racing skill! Which we have plenty, I mean, none of. Well, at least I'm keeping up with him, which is more than can be said for my last attempt. This time round, I've managed to find the turbo button, which you're probably gonna need if you want to win races. Whether I'll be able to do so in this particular take, well, you'll just have to wait and see, won't you? I at least seem to know what I'm doing here. I haven't fallen off the track yet, but all that could change in seconds. The tracks are like platforms floating in space, and the best way that I can describe this is it's as if you're driving a toy car around the edge of the kitchen table. You really do get that feeling that if you fall off, you've no chance. After all, you do need a crane to be lifted back onto the track, and it takes forever for the game to do so. Your race is as good as lost. Oh dear, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> this game certainly isn't for people with vertigo. It really is like being on a roller coaster. You do get that immense sense of speed as you head over the bumps like that. And it is a lot of fun to play, even if some of the later tracks are incredibly unforgiving as I smash into the back of the cheese triangle once again. Look at him fly! Look at him fly! Ah! Oh, boing! Oh, look at that! He's gone sideways! That's insane, man! Jeez, this game was made in 1989! If it weren't for the blocky graphics, you probably wouldn't have been able to tell. Yes. This looks a lot like a PlayStation game, doesn't it? Or at least it plays like one. You're mincemeat now, brother! Get out of it! Haha! -ha, I am now in the lead! Indicated by the checkered flag graphic on my dashboard turning green now. No oh, crumbs! No! Oh dear, this is turning into a Dodgems race! I'm not sure if they ever made a game based on Dodgems racing, but here we go! Geronimo! Bouchak! That is so much fun! I can't explain it. 
you're going to have to play the game for yourself to experience it. But hopefully in this video, I can give you a little bit of a taste of how exciting it is. As we just head over another bump here. Just land. Oh. At this point, I'm just trying to hold myself together to try and win this race. Don't do anything stupid. Don't crash. Yes, only one turn to go now. Surely I can't lose this. I still have loads of turbo left. No, boost! Boost like hell! Oh! I can't believe that. I lost by, what, a millimeter? Ah, goodness me. Well, I suppose it serves me right for being such a wuss and not daring to use my turbo. Why are my wheels still spinning round there? Surely I should be wrecking them. I bet they're rather expensive as well. Oh well, at least we got the best lap time. Which is no consolation whatsoever. No! Anyway, I think it's pretty evident what I think of this game. You should go out and get it right now. Otherwise, I'm sending Jeff Crammond over to get you. He'll sort you out.